best to open this laptop, like how to open it. And um, it's fairly simple. You just need a 2.5 uh, millimeter, I think, uh, Phillips screwdriver. And you have seven of these screws. You have three down here and you have four up here. And, you know, I, it's kind of hard to do this. Like, I can't, like, hold my freaking camera and unscrew this at the same time. But I will try my best. <sighs> yeah, um, it's a bit difficult. But once you remove these screws, which I will do right now, somehow, like, like how, like, holding it like this. You all know how to unscrew a screw, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll unscrew them and I'll come back in a bit. You know, you just, you can unscrew it. You unscrew these, unscrew that, unscrew that, unscrew that, 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 and that. And I'll show you what to do next. All the screws removed from the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Uh, you, the top screws are different from the bottom screws. Remember that because the long ones go in here and it doesn't matter which order you put them in. They're all the same screw for the top ones. The top ones are the bigger, longer screws. The shorter screws belong down here. Don't mix those up. That's very important. If you don't want to mess up this laptop, you need to memorize that order because again, these belong up here, these belong down here. Now, what you're also going to need is a spudger and a little guitar pick to open the laptop. You're gonna need to put it in the little crack here and pry alongside the laptop like that with the spudger and you get the spudger you choose whatever side you want it doesn't matter and then you just try to get it in there to open it See, as it's opening, you slide the spudger in there. And then you just, you just go along the line here to open the laptop like this. Gets a little bit tricky. I think you get the gist, so let me take it off because I need to take this down. Oh, I just stuck the spudger in between this and the laptop itself. There's clips all around the laptop on the bottom, but you need to be careful not to break. You need to pry open gently and all around the edge here until the top's off. And I already got it popped off, so you can just stick the spudger in there and start unclipping this gently. I can get it to open. So I can't hold this while I'm doing this for some anomical reason because I'm just not very. I'm still to hold my camera, to be honest. I'm doing this shit by myself. But... You just, you can obviously just, yeah, just get up like that, so that'll work too. Um, I don't think I broke anything. I mean, the lid should just come off like, like that. And you got your lid here. You see how you got these little clips at the end of each row? You see you have all of these clips that you need to be careful not to break when taking this off. As you can see here, I took this off a couple times. It didn't break, so... That's the lid already off. That's how you open it. And to replace anything, you have four Phillips screwdrivers here that you can, you need obviously the Phillips screwdriver to take out. It looks like you're gonna about, you're gonna need to remove the, the battery 
if you want to replace the hard drive to put in a SATA SSD or a SATA hard drive. Now, I didn't realize the connector for this was right here. So that is for the battery to remove it right there. And obviously you have the same Phillips head right here to remove uh, with a screwdriver. And you just, you unscrew this and you just lift up the MV NVMe SSD and you can put in another one if you want to. There's another dim slot, like I said, under this. But the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, release your, um, discharge yourself. That way you don't cause, um, like, static discharge to the system. You don't want that because that'll basically kill your laptop if you do that. If you manage to do that, um, you're going to want to, um, first things first, ground yourself. You're supposed to touch another metal. Or you know, in this case, for my case, you know, to discharge that electricity from your hands. That way you don't cause any permanent damage to your laptop. Also, you're going to want to unplug the battery. That way you don't have any flow of electricity while you're replacing parts. So let's say you want to replace the hard drive, unplug the battery, and discharge yourself, obviously. That's very important. Now that is how you get inside the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. You, to just put everything back, you just place it down and you work around the laptop and get the clips in place. Like this. Like you, doing. you have to feel for the clips on the edges. And once you're done with this, you're going to want to put in the screws next. Sorry, making sure this is closed off right. Yep, see. Now you have to make sure this is seated properly because you don't want this to be flying off of your computer when you're carrying it on somewhere. I'm gonna get any dust and crap in there. So let me just review if it's closed. Yep, okay, the computer's closed. All the clips are in. Now all you need to do is just get your drive, driver, screwdriver there, and you're gonna put in each and one of these screws back into the computer. And make sure you screw it in tight enough, but not too tight. And, um, you just, that's all you do. You just put the screws back, and that is how you take apart and put back together the HP Pavilion on a computer. There is, uh, serial numbers in there that you could find, you know, the dis like the panel for this laptop. But, because obviously I got a lot of questions for that, and I didn't answer because I didn't know what the panel, like I don't think you can find the panel for this unless you were to open it completely or whatever. So this is, that's how to open HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't too messy of an instruction video because I did try my best to hold my camera while opening this. But basically that's how you do it.